Hi people, today I have another review for you and that is Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines the third part in the Terminator franchise um, a film that uh, divides Terminator fans because there is a lot wrong with it and I mean anyone who's familiar with my channel will know how big a Terminator fan I am Terminator 2 is in fact my favourite film of all time um, and I, I guess you could say that I am a Terminator 3 apologist now I'm going to look at the good and bad points of Terminator 3 because in my previous movie reviews I've always tried to look at the good and bad points fairly and you know come to a fair conclusion and I should probably say now that I actually enjoy and like Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines it's a good action movie, it's an above average action movie but it's a below average Terminator film now it stars um, Arnold Schwarzenegger returning as a T-800 Nick Stahl, Claire Danes and Christina Loken as the Terminatrix, the female Terminator and um, the actors uh, do what they can I mean there's no terrible performance in the film I mean they're pretty much average across the board uh, Nick Stiles a passable John Connor although he should really be a bit harder than he is you know he's um, still a bit of a whiny little bitch <laughs> But that, I guess, you know, he had to play it how it was written. The film is directed by Jonathan Mostow. Now, um, any fans will know that he did not do the first two. James Cameron did the first two. And, I mean, when Terminator 3 came out, al alarm bells started ringing because I, you know, didn't understand the legal issues. Um, and I thought, why is Cameron not doing it? But that is, a you know, a shame. I mean, Jonathan Mostow did uh, Breakdown and U571. But this is all from memory, so I'm sorry if it seems a bit disjointed. Um, um, so he is a... a a good action director and the action in this film is good I mean apart from an over reliance on CGI but it's an as an action film it's actually quite good let's start with the problems that I have with this movie um, one of which and it's a big one for me is the villain the Terminatrix is nowhere near as menacing or as deadly as the T-1000 in Terminator 2 Nuff said and not only is it the um, character and how it's written and the stuff that the machine can do itself but it's also the way they've chosen to go with it in terms of actors I mean they've cast a female actress Christana Loken who has a good go at doing the emotionless um, Terminator face but it's um she's just nowhere near as menacing as Robert Patrick Nick Stahl does an okay job as John Connor although he is a bit whiny whereas he should be um becoming more world weary and harder in my opinion anyway because he you know Judgment Day is on the horizon um even though he believes that he's um stopped Judgment Day you know he's still living on the road which shows that he does not trust um time and he thinks that it could happen so you'd think that he'd be more of a um well he'd be on his way to becoming how Sarah Connor was in Terminator 2 but he's not he's still kind of a whiny little kid and there's not really been much character development between the second and third film Claire Danes as Catherine Brewster does um okay in a really underwritten role she serves no purpose in the film to be honest apart from what she's going to be in the future which is why I'm quite happy with the fact that Terminator Salvation has Catherine Brewster in it although she's play played by um, Bryce Dallas Howard in that film um, I can find the character's inclusion in Terminator 3 forgivable now because she actually she's going to play a part eventually even if it's not in this film itself Arnold Schwarzenegger is the T-800, what can I say, it's a role he was born to play, although, and I don't know whether this was his decision, the writer's or the director's decision, but the misplaced humour that he brings to the role is just weird more than anything, like the Elton John sunglasses and stuff like that, I mean, obviously in the... Um, first two Terminator films, he, he wears black sunglasses, in this one he picks a pair up which he gets from a stripper, um, a male stripper and it's Elton John sunglasses so he steps on them and then goes find himself a cool pair and this is just really misplaced and it just doesn't fit, it's becoming um, 
a scary movie version of a Terminator movie. It's becoming a parody, a cheap parody, which um, I do not like. These are my main problems with the film. The fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger walks into a ladies' night bar and there is only one male stripper, you know, that's again an example of the misplaced comedy. They could have just played it straight, which is what they should have done. And I mean, obviously it's backfired because fans... Uh, have written the film off as being a piece of shit. Now, it's not as bad as people say, but the misplaced comedy is unforgivable. The action itself is quite good, although it does overly rely on CGI and everything, um, especially the computer-generated stunt doubles, um, look a bit rubbery and unrealistic, so the CG lets it down, although there are a few practical effects, but this is a perfect example of how CG will never be as good as practical. There is a scene in this in which a uh, semi-truck flips over and it's all CG and it looks like a video game, and you compare that to the truck flipping over in The Dark Knight, which was done for real, and come on, it doesn't take a genius to figure out which one's best. A couple of good points about this film are the inclusions of a few nods and winks to the first two, um, the most notable of which is the inclusion of Dr. Silberman during one of the action sequences, and he was assessing Sarah Connor at police station in T1, and he was um, working in the mental institution in which she was imprisoned in T2, and in this he tries to talk um, Claire Danes down after she's been held captive by Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I really got a kick out of the inclusion of his character in this film. The main thing that people like about this movie is in fact the ending, which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it shows Judgment Day, basically. All the missiles launching up and John Connor and Claire Danes take refuge in a um, bunker. So it really um, sets up this uh, new trilogy that McG wants to do, starting with Terminator Salvation, which looks pretty good. Um, so it's a very brave ending for a Hollywood movie. They could have quite easily postponed Judgment Day again, but they didn't. They actually went ahead with it, and I admire it for this. Terminator 3, it gets three stars from me, it's an above average action movie, it's a below average Terminator film. For any fans of the Terminator franchise, I highly suggest you check it out, because it's nowhere near as bad as critics and other fans have said. It's um, forgivable, it's okay, it's nothing special, I recommend it um, anyway. So thank you for listening and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, rate this video and I'll see you later. Alright, bye.